At the beginning of the last episode, we heard old Waylon say, she Turns over. And at the end of the last episode, we heard old Waylon say, It's a weird thing. Every time I think about that Hemi engine, I also think about this 34 Plymouth five window coupe with suicide doors. Hmm. And in this episode, we'll hear Waylon say, Lassie! Lassie! What is it, girl? Is Timmy smoking dope in the barn again? I got that done. This is the carburetor off that Hemi and it's been sitting so long I'm sure all the gaskets are all dried up and I'm gonna put some gas in it and see if I can get things to start soaking. Sometimes the gaskets start uh, getting soaked uh, they'll seal up and uh, so I'm gonna do that and maybe it won't leak so bad when I get ready to use it. I see I'm missing a couple of screws there I'll try and locate something that'll fit that. Anyway, yeah, that's it. That's what's happening right now. Well, good morning, boys and girls. It's a quarter till daylight. Yeah, maybe a little earlier than that. I'm headed over the mountain passes, going over to the dark side. I'm gonna go see my buddy Robo Frank. And we're gonna put a hind in in a 1950, I think it is, 49 or 50 Nash, the big bathtub, one he drug home from Arizona a few years back, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun day, nothing better than hanging in the shop with a buddy, wrenching on stuff, you know. Here we are, Robo Franks, and he's been giving me the tour, but this is where we wound up, we're going to go for a ride, this is a little, a uh, little, a little something something. A little Chrysler 300 he picked up that had uh, got in a fender bender and it, uh, it blew the airbag, air, uh, yeah, airbag airbags and, uh, and I mean the safety airbags and locked the seatbelt. Yeah, and it yeah. Just ripped off the front end of it. But yeah. there's no brain damage. It goes track down the road nicely. And Go ahead and hit that throttle again like you, like you did. talking about yeah and he's gonna put that engine in uh, in a Durango <laughs> it's sitting over here all right I've only seen one other uh, second generation Durango with this engine on, online so. yeah well seems like the right thing to do yeah <laughs> why be normal that's it <laughs> so that's the airbag, huh? Yeah, that's where it's it, located. It destroys the dash when it when it deploys. So yeah, so I suppose it just comes all back in here. Yeah, yeah and, this and then one that one blue. Yeah, yeah. So, so seat belts are locked. Yeah, it's in instinctual. I won't try yeah, to yeah. put the seat belt on and yeah. So yeah. But before we get out of the road with it, close course. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Still on the pavement here, so. <laughs> oh yeah, we made a little smoke back. Yeah, she got. <laughs> Is it all-wheel drive? No. No. Rear-wheel drive. Yeah, I just. I was wondering why the smoke was well. It just threw smoke up yeah, from the front. Yeah, the wind was blowing forward. Is why. The uh, yeah, that thing will stop dinging after about ten minutes of yeah, listening to it. So yeah, but uh, no, after driving this thing, I want one. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, uh -huh. there's a couple more online that I'm looking at. Uh -huh. Yeah, I want one. So. Huh. 
That's why I'm going to sell. But you're going to have one, basically. Yeah. In well, Durango. I just like this. I've always liked these cars too. Always well, it's a body. Chrysler 300, man. Yeah. It's, it's a luxury car. Thought that when they when they came out with you this know, body, they they hit a total home run with it. So. Yeah. Well, you know, when you get to be an old man, you want a luxury car. Okay, exactly. You know? When I get well, to your age, is what some, you're saying. Some people do. <laughs> some people do. I don't. I don't want one. God, I hope I make it that far. <laughs> I was thinking on the way over here, I go, well, I wonder if we'll go to lunch to that Mexican place that put us both in the hospital with the heart surgery. Well, yeah, well, that, well, that was the teriyaki joint. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was going to take you up and tote them today. So. Put us both in the hospital. Yeah. We both had heart surgery after that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was that, and it was nothing that we did prior. No, nah, nothing to we did for day. 10 years prior to that. Yeah, they yeah. poisoned us. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, just a, a fun riding car, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what yeah. I wanted to see. Yeah, we'll take her over here and just make a loop. And... It is currently licensed, but it's not, uh, since they totaled it, it's got to be reinspected before it can be. Right. Legal. Well, let's go back up the hill instead. Since we'd be behind a dump truck now. Okay, what does this thing do? There we go. Another 300. Is that 60? Yeah. Zero to 60? Yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. Fun ride car. Just nice. Let's try to make these seats work in that Durango. Oh, yeah, you know, definitely. We're, we're They're that comfortable. SRTA Durango. I'm in They're uh, nice. manual mode. I thought it was. So. Yeah, they're nice. These are nice. Because you can. A 49 Nash. Came out of Arizona, right? Yeah. And what's the running gear in this thing? I forgot. Uh, so. 94 T Bird 5 liter. Okay. Full drive trains, all T Bird. Had the T Bird rear end in it. And what did you take the T Bird rear end out? Yeah, yeah, change it over to Lincoln. To a Lincoln? Yeah. So. Okay. Is that what we're putting in today? Is the Lincoln? Yeah. Cool. It's, it's got the disc brakes on the Lincoln, so it's a uh, little, little nicer setup. So. Yeah. Is that a Posi? Or do you know? Don't know. Don't know. Never even looked it over. Cool. Okay. Cool. While we're here at Robo Franks, and while we got some daylight, let's go visit an old friend. An old friend I haven't seen for quite some time. This is an interesting rig. <laughs> Big old, I think it's a Caprice wagon or something all slammed. And, Lowered down airbags, and there's another Nash back there, and a couple of them, at least two of them. He's quite a Nash collector. And this is his wife's little Chevy. He's gonna fix up for her one day. You know that story. I'm gonna fix that up one day. But here's an old friend we haven't seen in a long time. How you doing, Green Bean? Yep, I told Frank, I said I should have bought my trailer and brought the green bean home. Uh, I sold it to him with the agreement that if he got rid of it, uh, he'd let me know. And uh, kind of sold it to him with the agreement that I could buy it back if I wanted to. And uh, I still love it. And if I didn't have any projects, I would buy it back and take it home. Uh, we both know that the worst thing we could have done to it was bring it over here. And it sits here where the humidity's high and it's not a good home for it. But uh, he loves Nash's and I knew he'd, he loved it. I let him bring it home, but uh, it could always come back. When I run out of projects, then I'll come and get it. And I'll set it on an S10 frame. Put something else in it, redo it, but 
right now I've still got a V12 to build and I might have a Plymouth Coop to build we'll see how that goes okay just wanted to visit an old friend say hi okay we're losing daylight the fog's sitting in well tell me about this truck you gonna start it up first okay all right well no it runs it's got the what 250 six cylinder yeah something like it well, Frank was born a coal miner's daughter. Somebody called it a California something or other because of that weird uh, valve cover. A Chevy Sport. 1980, let me get that. Chevy Sport. And back in the day, that was a fancy deal. Yeah, there's that weird rocker arm cover. Oh, it's in my jacket pocket. Okay, I see a new starter. There's Mary Jo and her electric Fiat. They got his and hers electric Fiats. So tell oh, me, tell me more about in my this. Pocket here. Okay. okay. 1980 Chevy Sport, and they did not make a whole lot of them? Or? No, I'm not sure the numbers on them, but I know they're super rare. I try to find one now, it's, you know, it's near impossible. And you saw one when they first came out? And yeah, back in 1980 when these... They had to have it. Yeah, that yeah. was the most beautiful truck I'd ever seen. <laughs> yeah, kind of sure. Kind of looking now, but that, that's yeah. the 80s. We did things different back then. Well, so. yeah. But, that was heartbeat of America, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the only year they put the square headlights in the front end on yeah. the square body, so. And we got the paint scheme up here, the, sh the stripe. I don't want to bend it yeah, a inch. Right Need to oil them up. Yeah. They're, they're notorious for bending. Yeah. Yeah. This one's not sprung got, yet. Got the little sport stripe on it. Yeah. Three, three tone orange stripes. Yeah. And that uh, set off the two tone gray paint job. And but what Brett impressed me about this thing is it's straight. Yeah, I was just starting to say the other side, both sides are good and straight. Tailgate's good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, it looks like maybe they had some surface rust back there, so they sprayed some paint on that. So yeah. I'm going to try to rub that and, and rub it out. Okay. But, uh, but where the paints were rubbed through. So. Yeah, but the floorboards are not rusted no, through that. Like, and that happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we got it from the family of the original owner. and. Another place that they rust out real bad is right in front of that rear tire in that little yeah. corner, but I don't see anything. There's a little bit. There's a little one. bubble there. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's easily repairable. You know, it's it's the next owner will you know can get to it. Yeah. And save it. So. Okay, and it's for sale. Yeah. It's a four-speed granny in it. Yeah. Four bed. Got uh, uh, rhino lining in it. So. Okay. Well, short bed, half ton. That's what people are looking for, yeah. and that's what I never find. I always find a long bed three-quarter ton. Yeah. You know, but, um, okay, I got, well. I got a friend, uh, sign shop guy. He said he can recreate these stripes, too, so. Okay. It wouldn't be hard to recreate those. You can't get them, so. Yeah. yeah but, well, I will put your email in the link below the video, and then if anybody's interested, they can get in touch with you that way, and then, you know, good. you can find out if you, uh, if they're serious, you can exchange numbers and whatnot, so. And a good little canopy, looks like. Yeah, yeah, it's in real good shape. Okay. Yeah, and dry in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised. It, it's yeah, never definitely. got wet inside there, so. Okay, so nice that's dry. good. That's yeah. good. All right. Well, 1980. 1980 Chevy half ton short box. Yeah, real basic bare bones interior, but needs a little bit. But, you know, it's all available on LMC or Brother. Oh, right? yeah, LMC. LMC. Covers, you build a whole truck out of LMC. Yeah. Okay, good deal. Okay, Frank, run me through your engines. <laughs> now here we got, a, is this a, a 331 supposed to be here? Yeah, 331 Hemi. Okay. With the 671, or and A small block Chevy behind that? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. nothing special. So. And a big block back there. Yeah, that's a tall, tall deck uh, 427. Okay, and... And, and, and the, another big block, I think 
And another Hemi down here. That's the 392 down there. Ooh, that's the big boy. That's This yeah. is going to go on. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, right behind it here. That's a V10 out of a uh, Dodge truck. That's part of the V20 project. Yeah. And on the stand? That's my old race engine. That's a, that's a, that's a stroker there. That's a screamer. Yeah. And then uh, on the floor under that, what is that, a 454 back there? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, and on the yeah. floor below that? Uh, just oil. No, no, there's a there's an engine sitting back there. Underneath that 454. No, nothing. There's nothing under it. Now, come here, come there? here and look, yeah. yeah there's, an, there's an engine down there. On the floor. Yeah, that's the 454. Well, what, then, that's 4, 427 there. Oh, that's, that's 427. Called. Okay. I was pointing at that one. Yeah. I thought that's what you meant. It was a 454. Then over here. 454 over there. That's the one my nephew was building. Yeah. And midway through it, he got a screaming deal on a car. And he was going to okay. sell that motor for next to nothing. And I had 1,500 in the heads that I gave to him. So I wasn't about to let him sell my heads. So right. The motor from right. Him, so. And then out in that storage shed, you've got uh, the makings of about five more Hemis. You can yeah, figure out there. five more, yeah. Okay. I think I've got three or four extended blocks out there. Oh, really? Yeah. Those old ones? Yeah. Huh. So if I need a starter, I just go out and grab one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. Okay. No, you gave me two already. I know. The well, um, real purpose for you coming here was so you take more of this crap out of <laughs> So, So you are real, you're a real Hemi hoarder. Yeah. I'm just getting started myself. Yeah. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a novice. You're like yeah. my apprentice. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. my bitch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if we were in prison, you'd be my bitch. <laughs> oh, you hear me, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people have more fun than anybody, don't hear they? Me, bitch. <laughs> okay. That's what we've become. Okay. Ladder Frank's bars? digging out ladder bars that go to. Uh, he already gave me. I narrowed four nine inch for that uh, for my Plymouth coupe, my um, my 1934 five window, and these are the ladder bars that goes with that rear end's already set up for them. Yeah, the it? brackets are on. I cut, yeah. cut two of the brackets off. Yeah. I was gonna re reuse them, but yeah. And then you give me a transmission that fits that Hemi that I got over here the last time. So uh, I'm gonna put this in the truck. Here we go. Now my old buddy Robo Frank, he's got some stuff. He's got interesting stuff. And we didn't even scratch the surface. He's got, I think, three containers sitting outside, and we only made it into one of them. I think the one that's loaded with Hemi cores. But uh, every time I go over there, he loads me up. I come home with a big load of stuff. Line course. Your tail gunner. Oh. Uh, yeah. For for sighting in on on what kind of a well. Aircraft, you think? Someone told me it was like a B-52 or really, you know, or, or wow. like a mid-50s bomber or some sort. It's fiberglass, so it's you know. Oh, it is. It's not uh, real old as far as like World War II, but yeah. But yeah, so you know, you can. It's got you can take and, and change the range with this, and it's just oh, okay. That's a pretty cool piece, man. It was sitting in the front window of a Army surplus and store, and I had you had to have it. Have it. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I've been sitting here ever since. Well, you're putting the back of this Nash for your tail gutter I back, about to ride back making there. I steering wheel out of it. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I'm not sure how I'd, how I'd make it work. But. I'm sure you could find a way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that may be. I think there's even some tags on here. Yeah. You know, from the Air Force or something like that. Avionics Center of the Air hmm. Force, yeah. So. Interesting piece. And serviceable item repaired. One eight of eighty, so oh, fairly new then. Yeah, so well, yeah. new to us. Eighties yeah. is new to us. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are in the process of putting a Lincoln rear end in this uh, forty-nine Nash. I say we because uh, I just now got under here and uh, did a little bit of cutting, and now I'm going to do some grinding. So uh, that way I get to say I helped, you know. <laughs> you, know the, you know the feeling. So did you say you had workman's comp? <laughs> <laughs>
I knew that was when it was coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put out of business here. <laughs> <laughs> What's it weigh? Like 75 pounds. 75? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Like I say, I carried it in. What I like is the teeth on that thing. It's, it's, four, it's three inches between yeah. teeth, and then the uh, teeth are an inch long at least. Wow. Two man saw. Yeah. All right. Pretty awesome. So what's the difference between a Mall 10 and a Mall 11? Bigger, bigger motor. <laughs> One. <laughs> a bigger motor. <laughs> bigger, bigger bar. Yeah. Bigger motor. Later model. Yeah, it's later, later model. Off. I'm sure it's something. Yeah. But uh, I've got, I think, three Model 11s, and I started tearing them apart to. Uh, rip, 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 rip. Started tearing apart to. Uh, you know, clean them up, paint them and all. I was just going to make wall hangers out of them. Yeah. But I got this wild idea. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take, because if you twist that, the power head 180 degrees. All right. And I'll change rotating in the other direction, right? Okay. So put one on each end. Oh. Two man, two head chainsaw. And that piece of steel there is going to be the bar. Oh, yeah. So, uh, when are we going to do that? Well... Well, next get, next time I come shit out of here. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know my buddy that I, whose house went by, I showed you that yeah. uh, made the trailer. Yeah, yeah. He's got a CNC plasma cutter, and it's about a ten foot long table. And I was going to have him build the bar for me. So. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah. Well, what'd you call this thing? This rotary one or circle? That's a sally blade? saw. A sally saw. Yeah, that's that's before there were chainsaws. Huh. So, yeah. And again, they're they're getting super rare. Oh, I suppose. Well, I had to have one. Of course. The battery on the Dojelac lives under that fender behind the tire. And it's really a pain to lay down there and roll around the dirt and crawl under there and hook up battery cables if you need to hook up uh, cables either to be the jump or or the jump E. Uh, I have to turn the wheel all the way to the right and then try to reach in there and you can't see it and reach at the same time and so I took care of that today as you can see I've got the charger hooked up there and uh, working quite well how about that well I was digging for some scraps because I got to tie a ladder onto my truck go down to my son's house and top a couple of trees and I was just digging around in this box and look what I found that's an old Mopar starter. What fits onto that right there? Yep, mystery solved. I don't remember how I got there, but the mystery solved. Josh, are you inspecting the rear end? I've been sick for a few days, so there's been a fella calling and checking up on me every once in a while. Bless his little old heart. So. Brother Kerwood called me today a couple times, and he said it was cold and dreary and dark and foggy and socked in down there in town. Oh, uh, and I don't know what he said, 29, 30 degrees or so, but up here in paradise, it looked like this all day long. It was sunny and 40 degrees. Hey, thanks everybody for going along with me to visit my old friend and Robo Frank as well. I appreciate you. Give it my... Koopa CAT scan. You know, I just keep thinking it'd uh, be kind of neat to bring this thing up to the shop and and just mock it up with that Hemi just to just to see what it'd look like. Um, oh, I can only imagine the beauty of it. I keep saying I'm not going to build this car right now, you know, because I got that V12. I kind of want to get going on and. Uh, I was telling my buddy Robo Frank, I said, I really don't intend to build that coupe right now. And he said, you're going to keep saying that until the day you're driving it down the, down your driveway. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gathering up parts. So, and Robo Frank, he's not helping any. He's, uh, he keeps loading me up with parts. Uh, he gave me a narrowed Ford 9-inch housing. And then I was over there. When last time I went to see him, he gave me the ladder bars for it. And he gave me a transmission to fit that other Hemi you know he just keeps loading me up so uh, I don't know 
Uh, and I got a frame for this thing. And uh, I need to find a straight axle for the front end. But uh, uh, we got a swap meet coming up in the spring. So I'll probably locate one. Anyway. Yep. Got a pretty good CAT scan going here.